I think when you're a woman, you talk about certain things. Like Sarah definitely was, a, you know, paved the road for for women kind of talking about certain, you know, certain subjects. And so I'll get even like emails and stuff of like, you know, you know, did you like Sarah? Or are you kind of? I mean, I don't think that we are, our delivery is the same at all. But like, and I'm a fan of hers, and I've I've clearly you know watched her before I started doing comedy, but. Um, I don't know. That stuff's hard to. It's hard to avoid because people either say your jokes are like that person, or your delivery's like that person, or your, you know. I mean, it's I'm trying to. This is about, how does that make you feel when people say that? Well, I've been really accused of of that so much, and like even you know Sarah's been has been super supportive. You know, it's like seeing me go up and, and doing what I do. I think that, um, I don't know, I, you know, it's funny, I, I really haven't, I haven't had people say she's like that, except I also know that chances are, you know, somebody wouldn't put me and, you know, Sarah and Bonnie McFarlane on the same show, you know, just because, well, whoa, whoa, there's those are three women who happen to say things that are moderately offensive at times. Like, it, it's a weird thing. I mean, I think if it happens, it's hard for women, too, because a lot of times there's one woman on a show or two women on a show, and, you know, it's... Uh, I don't know. I, it, it's weird. It, it's... Uh, I'm not being super articulate about it, but... Uh, I, I don't know. What do you say that somebody says, "Hey, you seem a little bit like somebody you really like." Like, oh, okay, well, thanks. You know, I, I guess I think Sarah's funny. So if somebody says they, I remind them of her. Uh, Does that make you want to like maybe write a different way, or even if it's it, like a you know, like honestly, like it's because uh, it's so it's so funny to talk about comedy in a very honest, sincere way. But no, I like, guess. Uh, I have thought at times, like, not so much because people, like, I think I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating the, the Sarah stuff, like, it's not because people have said, you're like, Sarah, it's looking at a kind of a new school of comics come up, and it's weird for me to say that, because I guess I'm, I'm still fairly young, but uh, there's a lot more women kind of going for, you know, the sort of, uh, the, the rape jokes and the abortion jokes and, you know, the cunt jokes and whatever they're going to say, and it's done without, um, you know, sort of without regard to really crafting a great joke, you know, so suddenly there's, there's you know, a new, like a crop of, of girls on stage saying blah, 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 rape, blah, 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 you know, abortion, and then you're like, Okay, well, I, I'm not a big fan of that joke, but like, it also makes me think, ah, I shouldn't even do these jokes anymore because, you know, a lot of audiences only hear that, that one kind of trigger word, you know. So I have it. I have at times thought, like, you know, tried even to stop or to write different kind of jokes, but at the same time, I wrote those, you know, the jokes I've written, I wrote because that's just that's what I thought was funny and you can't really change what you think is funny you know I could write I could write a totally different way but that it would all be sort of uh, fake I wouldn't really know if what I was saying was funny or not